What's going on? It's your boy Icy Jones with another episode of Hot Seat with Icy Jones. You already know what it is, man. Catch me every Thursday right here on my Facebook, on my Instagram, and on the radio. Understand me? Right now, I got your son, Tyler. No doubt. In no the doubt. building, man. What's happening, bro? Fresh off the bird. Yeah? Where yeah. you coming in from? Uh, we're coming in from Indiana. I took a South Bend uh, International flight today. Yeah? Yeah, South that Bend. A little bit, little bit less traffic on the uh, on the people, you know what I mean? Got to worry about all that Chicago traffic, though. Got you. Now, where are you from exactly? I'm originally from Gary, Indiana, out the G. You know what I'm Gary, saying? Gary, Indiana. Now, are you are you familiar with Vegas? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I've been traveling out here. My auntie live out here. My brothers live out here. Yeah. I've been coming out here for some years, so I'm okay. politicking with artists and different radio stations, and yeah, I definitely been making my move out here for sure. That's good. <clears throat> now, my question, being from Gary, Indiana, what is your outlook on the city and hip when it comes to hip hop, especially independent hip hop? So, Gary, uh, Vegas. Cause you you got an outside look on it. Um, it's a collective of different things. I feel like, of course, a lot of West Coast influence. You okay. know, a lot of Cali influence, of good. course. You know, because it's being the West and Cali, you know, they're they moving around through AZ, they coming down to Dada. Yeah. So it's definitely a strong West Coast influence, you Got know it. what I mean? And yeah. The West Coast sound. But it's also, you know, different people doing their own things too out here too, in their own lanes, with their own music and their own creativity. Yeah. Right. When last time you were back home? <laughs> to Gary? Yeah. Uh, I actually just left Gary. Just left Gary? Yeah. So how's the music scene out there, independent ground? Uh, I mean, to be honest, you know, it's a small city, so to me it ain't. The scene is like, you know, you got a, people, a lot of people trying to rap, you okay. know what I mean, to do music, but yeah. they ain't really getting down to the business, you feel me? They're yeah. like uneducated on business because uh, we come from a place that's like, is that a, is that a real lane? cutthroat, huh? Is that a lane you can teach them in? Would you, would you take out time? <laughs> kind of sort, I had to learn them on too though, you feel me? Yeah. You got to get out here <laughs> and get educated, you know what I mean? Right. That's what it is, you got to get educated. If not, then we're just ignorant, you know what I mean? I feel you on that, man. So, um, you've been doing shows? Yeah, for sure. So We're on a tour right now. Okay, what's the name of this tour? Two different tours. What's the name? We're on the tour right now called The Hottest in the City. Okay. And we on on uh, <coughs> Talk My Sh Tour. Okay, mm -hmm. you're on two different tours right now. Mm -hmm. Man, tell them people COVID can't stop nothing. Oh yeah, if you're gonna get to it, you're gonna get to it. COVID can't, COVID, I mean, I gotta eat, you know what I'm saying? So if we in demand somewhere, we're gonna go to that city where we demand that we can make some money and people gonna come see us, we're gonna be there, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely, brother. Are you a, a stranger to the road? No, not at all. I've been driving, man, for years, so. How long you been touring? Man, for some years, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I drive anywhere, so I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really messed up about it. Straight like highway, that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So tell the people about the tour and, and, and not just this tour, but the touring yeah. business. It's, it's a game. Talk to them about it. Well, I'm independent with my own label right now. Okay. I, I had two independent deals in the past, mm -hmm. then I had to learn on my own, you know what I'm saying? Mm. If, if they ain't really coming with what they come with, then I can't waste my time with people, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. this your own journey and time wait for nobody, you know what I'm saying? I feel like people waste my time, wasting my time, but right. uh, that's in the past. So. I got my own company now, you know what I mean? And I just do everything on my own, you know? Yeah. I was dealing with management and he was, can you curse on him? Do what you do. It was, he was fucked up. He was a real fucked up individual out here on some bullshit, you know what I mean? I feel like he only came around me to like, try to get around the money and sniff out some paper. Okay. So he ended up taking money out of my account and I kind of like fuck shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, just some little sneaky shit. Yeah. You know, out here ducking. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so you had to end up learning your own lane. Yeah, I had to learn my own lane. I definitely had to learn my own lane, and you know, shout out my man Nikki Neptune uh, and people who help me independently. Okay. My brother DJ Rock, we get you her radio. That's one of my most potent lanes. Okay. We get you her TV. We get you her radio. We get you her magazine. Okay. He. He, he, he had faith in me since day one. I've been rocking with him harder than everybody. Okay. You know, from, from, from the mud into the music, we rocking. Right. On and off the court, you know what I'm saying? And he set platforms for independent artists like me to learn, you know what I mean? And, and platforms out of town for me to be heard. Right. Non-locally. Right. So I definitely always salute him. Much homage, much respect to him um, for putting things together that he do, you know what I mean? Because he, 
he, he got faith in his own brand as well. Is touring all glitz and glamour? Nah, it ain't all glitz and glamour, man. That's a grind. People think that rapping and doing music is, to be honest, the, the creative part is just a small part of it, man. It's 10% of the grind. Ninety percent is you know you got business you got you got to take chances you got to sacrifice yeah. you can't be afraid you got to move around you need some money yeah. you got to get some money whether the budget is big or budget is small if you independent it's got to be funded by us for us yeah. this movement I got come out the pockets you feel right. me my own pockets and team members around me pockets right. we this our own budget you know what I mean cars travel fees you know don't get me wrong the check might be that when we pull up but some days. You, you might get counseled. <laughs> you might something might happen. You <laughs> yeah. might lose some bread, but mm -hmm. it gotta come from an independent money. So the money gotta come from somewhere, and then you gotta invest. It's What's the, the name of your label? Tyler Nation. Tyler Nation. Yeah. And where did that come from? Tyler Nation started with me and my brother Bobo over 13 years ago. Um, it stand for uh, to all loyal affiliates. Okay. Behind another national disaster, it was Taliban first. But then it was too too much going on with getting our songs on radio, so we took the band off and just to all loyal affiliate nation. Wow. Tyler is the movement, you feel me? It was a gang of us and now it's only a couple of us. Okay. I lost a couple brothers, you know, to the grave. Mm. And I lost a couple brothers just because they weren't ready for this music, you know what mm. I mean? And you know, people be thinking they're ready for the music, but it's a difference between really feeling like this your destiny mm -hmm. as versus the thinking you just want to make a couple songs and get some clout. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like your man he just interviewed was sitting right here, he mm -hmm. was saying some real shit. Right. <clears throat> right. Yeah, he was saying some real shit like Shout niggas want to be in the studio, niggas don't want to be with niggas that, you know, is unmotivated and sleeping and just thinking it's about smoking and shit. And right. All that goofy ass shit. Like, nigga, yeah. put me in here with the engineer, I'm coming out here with magic. You hear me? Say that. Like, for real, I'm focused. Like, we're trying to make hits. Like, So, how long have you been actually recording music? Man, I've been doing music over 15 years. 15 years? Oh, yeah, for sure. And Not how long have you been since taking high school, huh? How long have you been taking it professionally? Professionally, at least, yeah. I mean, for me and my man, it was professional to begin with. Because <laughs> the man, because <laughs> the man who introduced it to me is my big brother Zeus. Okay. He had a record label when I was straight out of high school called SGP Records. Okay. I got that shit tatted on me before I was even rapping. You feel me? Okay. He doing 15 years in the joint. He finna come home in a less than 30 mm -hmm. days, December 1st. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. So he coming home. He Welcome coming home. to Florida. You know what I'm saying? He put the blueprint down for me to like you know, figure out the d small things. All everything else I had to learn on my own. Mm -hmm. But he put the blueprint down for us what needed, what was needed for the grind. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Money was needed. Yeah. Studio, you feel me? Sacrifice and not being afraid to travel and go out here and, and take your shit over. You know what I mean? You gotta take this shit over. When you say that, man, it, it, I have to pose the question. I know it's a what if, mm -hmm. but where do you think you would be if he didn't go to prison for 15? Him? Yeah. No, you. Oh. With him being by your side. Oh, man. If he would have never left, we ain't no telling where we'd be, man. We'd be at the top of the food chain, man. What we on our way to right now. Mm -hmm. Either way. But, you know, everybody got their destiny. Mm -hmm. Everybody got their lanes. And certain things happen for certain reasons. Mm -hmm. You know, even though I would never want nobody to go behind them walls. Cause yeah. That's that slave shit. Right. But I figure in his way, he don't deserve to do that much time, but he gonna come out bigger, better, and smarter. I know him. Yeah, he yeah, very intelligent, smart. and he lived his life like, right. he was balling since a shorty. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Trucks, rims, cars, taking care of his whole family, Making crib, that. pool, traveling, yeah. and snatching young brothers like me up off the street, teaching me different things, 100. how to drive, how to go out of town, you know, how to fly on a plane, you know what I mean? Real, how to go do, you real. know. You know, just real life survival yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. different shit that we need more of the OGs teaching the youth instead of just sending them off on the block with a pack. Right. Teach them how to get their credit up, you know what I'm saying? Teach yeah. them how to, how to get a loan, teach them how to come with a business plan, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Shit that I had to learn on my own. I had <laughs> to learn that shit later in my life. You now let me, me ask you, when you say when you have to get it on your own, right? Does that stop you or make you reserve sometimes of help telling the next man or helping them taking the time out? You know, to console, to, to actually like guide them there? Does yeah, that make yeah. you reserved about it? From like, the grind being hard, it's like, it's definitely, that's what I got to fuel to the next shorty, the next youth. Like, do this and do that, because I could tell you from experience. Like, I'm telling you this, because I already been through it. So don't think it's like this. Do this and do this, and you can do this. You know what I mean? Like, 
you can have a job and, 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 and work and put some money to the side if you really true if you really feel like music is your destiny you feel me yeah not just a hobby though you feel me yeah. if you want that to do as a career and put some money to a side work your regular job stack some money put it in the music right. when you got time off go chase your grind yeah open other doors take a meeting meet these people yeah. go to the studio you know what i mean and until your doors open Man. then you know you can fold from that that this grind into an independent hustle yo son tala out the gate. Man, do you have 16 bars for us, bro? I don't care if it's written, I don't care if it's freestyle, it doesn't matter, but uh, do you have something that you can rap for us, bro, uh, that we can take home and, and we can, you know. Let me think. Put yeah, it on of the course, wall. I got something. Let me think. Yeah, that, take your time. <laughs> I know because it's uh, off the top, um, but I do like to get them 16 bars, man, off the cuff. Uh, you feel me? Knock him out the park, Rick. I'm trying to think what I can spit right now. Uh, it don't matter, man. Whatever you feel like. Because <laughs> I, I know you got bars. I'm I know stuck. you got some. Oh, yeah, I'm stuck. You got song. Um, um, and then you ain't got to do it now. We can, oh, we, yeah. we can think about it for a second. And no we're going to run back around to it, right? No doubt, no doubt. But why do you believe music is your destiny? Why do you Why do you feel like you got to um, put money into it and really drive and have ambition about it? Why you? I just, I know myself. You feel me? I know that self. And I, I don't know what I'd be doing without music. Like, okay. without music, I feel like I ain't even living. You feel me? Wow. That's how involved I am in the music. That's how much music is a part of my life. Like, all I do is listen to music or write music or record music or <laughs> we figuring out how we finna get heard out here. You feel me? Yeah. Because I know I got that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's no question. So the other part is just about the business. Right. I know I got the heat. Right. You've been telling me that forever, but... Now it's just really, I ain't gonna say now, the last three, four, five years, it's really getting out there and the doors is opening right. for opportunity, you know what I'm saying? So I just I mean, know it's destiny, you know what I mean? Spirited and the destiny know I was sent here to make music and not just make music, but through the music and through interviews, enlighten other ones into the light and get them more informative about what's going on and just, go. you know, feed off the right information to grow minds, you feel good. me? You got children? No, I ain't got no. No kids? No, not yet. So uh, when you was coming up, Right? Mm -hmm. um, did you have both your parents? Nah. No? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, your guardians or whoever was over you? Yeah. My mom was there. My daddy was there here and there, but he was thug in too. Okay. But you know, I don't blame him. You know, he came from the same place I came from, so I understand it. What was and his daddy wasn't there either, huh? What was instilled in you? Was that instilled in me? with you today? Man, when like, you growing up? hunger. You feel me? Like, you know, you just got to figure it out. You got to figure it out. You know what I mean? And you got to get consciously aware of what's really going on. You know, like, it's so much information in the world, you got to distinguish bullshit information from valuable information. Mm. It's a lot of shit out here we got we to gotta distinguish because it's a whole bunch of bullshit information. And it's only like a little bit of conscious information. <laughs> yeah. But not a little bit, it's only a little bit of, of the percentage of people into that consciousness. Right, right, right. And when you tap into that consciousness, then you can start like what I would call the cheat codes to surviving in this world that was develop to keep your ass down you feel me you got to understand we living in a system that was created to keep you thinking mentally low right. to eating mentally low to doing low shit low dimensional shit you know yeah, what i mean so when you figure out the cheat codes and get into the, some of this consciousness and good meditation and eating correct and mm -hmm. living an abundant lifestyle then you can start figure out the ways to maneuver right. from all these tricks and traps they got here for us to you know be fucked up absolutely you know what i mean and once Obviously. i got into that then the door started opening for real word like that. Like that. <laughs> Straight up. That's and get the with the right gods. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get with the right gods that fit your DNA. Mm -hmm. You know, all these fictitious ass shit out here that motherfuckers, that shit ain't doing nothing but keeping y'all down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Your prayers so, ain't going to get answered. <laughs> when, it, when it comes to uh, what you want to put out there into the community, obviously it's positivity. You know? Yeah, definitely. And, and having us, you know, think beyond what we see. Definitely, I mean, definitely. There you go. Um, you know what you know. Yeah, absolutely. Talk your talk. <laughs> when you when you when you actually look at your your music, right? Who is who is your music? Because sometimes, like, um, you got to separate the man from the music because mm -hmm. the man may talk about some gangster stuff, but I mean, excuse me, the, the the artist, the music may talk about some gangster stuff, but the man is on some prestigious stuff. He's just talking about his story and the music, right? But where he at now, it's a whole different level. So for you. Uh, who's your target demographic when it comes to your music? Who are you reaching? What is that? What, what does that group of people look like? The group of people I'm reaching is, of course, the youths that come up in the ghetto. You know, people who come up in the ghetto. I'm reaching ghetto people first and foremost. Mm. Um, I'm taking them 
down my personal lane, but I'm also shooting that enlightenment in there. Yeah. I'm shooting that, that deep African rooted spirituality in there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and like I say, the enlightenment in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hit them from what they already into and then I sneak my own message in there to get them woke and give them something else to think about. Like, hmm, maybe I need to research that or hmm, maybe he got a point, you know what nice. I mean? Nice. So I try to drop the jewels in there, but in order to get somebody to relate to you, they gotta feel comfortable with you first, you feel me? Yeah. It's like a kid, you know what I mean? A kid ain't gonna really fuck with you till you give them a piece of candy, now they getting cool and they start smiling. Yeah. Then I could drop something on them, you right, feel right, me? Right, 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 I pull them in first and then magnetize the rest, you know absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. So you, you come up with them bars yet, bros? Uh, I need a song, it. man. I got a brain fart. Can, can anybody pull up just a little something so he can <laughs> just, get it? I just need to hear something. Need I need to, to spit. Like I got so much music. You know how I be. I'm a musician. I feel the uh, same way. That lingo, that new shit. Yeah, hit him with the lingo, ain't it? Yeah, fine. Ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, we got your son, Tyler, in the building, out man. Out the gate. Out the gate. Y'all gonna look him up. Hey, how you spell that? Y O S O N. Okay. T A L A. Subscribe to the YouTube. Easy. My YouTube, Easy. Bussin. Yeah. We about to get them YouTube checks popping in a month. Bust. That Instagram verification finna be in the next day or two. Yes. We about to get verified on Instagram, yeah. you feel me? Shit hey. official over here, you for, understand for, me? For artists watching um, in general, in music, all over, publishing checks, royalty checks for BMI, ASCAP, make sure that you sign up for it and get it. Whether you're a publisher or just a songwriter, get your bread, get your money. Beloved, oh dearly beloved, follow the structure and stick to the system. Don't fuck with no oppas. Don't fuck with no coppers, can't trust them for nothing. Don't need them for nothing. Oh dearly beloved, no skipping the subject. You love me, you riding, you gonna sleep beside me. This is the next single I got called Mob Ties. Mm -hmm. Official shit, video official. Mm -hmm. Tie in, tie in, Mob Ties. Tie in, I'm with the guys. Tie in with the mob to the bloody end. I need my M's. Dead presidents. These bitches catching feelings when they in the zens. I give no fuck about no past tense. Bitch, we in the present. These are my members. They steppers, they love making moves. I'm talking about hitters. They put you on six o'clock news. Blood in, blood out, that's the rules. What we got from the mud, that's the tools. Leave him in the box, you may lose. Leave him in the, hey, this thing of bars. Suits and cigars, mm -hmm. free the guys. Behind the bars, this thing of bars. Obey the laws, thousand parts. Salute the gods, mom ties. All right. Tie in right. with the mom. All right. I Out see the Smooth sailing, man. No doubt, no doubt. That's smooth right there. Is, is uh, some of the new music sounding like that? Yeah, it's yeah. even heavier though, you know what I mean? Like, Mob Ties is that thing, don't get me wrong. Yeah. That's for a group of my, of my people, you know, a, a special distinguished group of gentlemen, you mm -hmm. feel me? Yeah. That's who that's for, a family, a family based record. Um, Lingo is my single out right now, doing over 100K on YouTube. Okay. Um, about 40,000, 50,000 on Spotify. Nice. I'm dropping that Mob Ties video in a couple days on the 7th. Okay. I already got a full campaign for both of them ready. Lingo is on the radio right now in Chicago, Iowa, Indianapolis. Um, doing like 10 to 15 spins a day. Nice. Um, shout out Raw TV Radio, DJ Ferris, DJ Nafis, Sean Dale, Real T. Um, yeah, that's the move right now. But I got some heat I'm going to be doing out here that I unreleased records that's on steroids. Okay. Shout out my producer, Malcolm <laughs> Flex, Shy City. Hey. That's my magic man be coming with that heat. And okay. we got a whole new sound. I got my own sound, like for real. Yeah. It's my own sound, my own lane, and they gonna love it. And, it, and it's quality, you feel me? And it's yeah. all true stories, you know what I mean? No fabrication, I'm living this shit, for real. Let's do it, man. Been living it. Yo, son, Tyler, in the building. Man, okay. listen, you enjoy yourself today, bro? Hey, I'm good, straight off the flight to an interview. Uh -huh. We in the Audi truck, smoking that gas. <laughs> Life is plentiful, you hear me? <laughs> Welcome to Vegas, <laughs> Sin City, you hear me? Hey man, hot seat the with Devil Icy is Jones. alive. <laughs> Make sure you tune in every Thursday and Friday. Icy Jones. Clothes. You already know, man, we out this thing. Love. Love, we out, y'all.